Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be watching a replay submission being played in the tier 5 Italian battleship Giulio Cesare. To begin, I would like to thank the Whiskey Priest for submitting this replay. You are going to notice that there is a skill on here which isn't now in the game, and that is Deadeye. So we are going to talk about the build here, but just be aware this is a slightly older replay, as this was submitted back in February. However, I've just been rather slow in getting through these replays, so this does have this does have an old set of skills. Now, looking at the build that Whiskey has got here, he has gone for a somewhat of a both a concealment and a survivability build here. So he's gone for gun feeder, grease the gears, adrenaline rush, concealment expert, and then the rest of them. It's just a fact of just just primary survivability, but he's also gone for dead eye as well, just to get increased accuracy in his shots. Now it is no longer available. But even so, this is just, well, it, it shows you what this was like back when Deadeye was still a thing. Now, alongside those skills, I mean, we are just seeing this own heart that's going to get hit by a couple of shells here. And yet does get just about a 6k knocked out in their engine, knocked out of them as well. Is that, we, uh, yeah, Whiskey is using Sansonetti. So not only does this mean that he's already got a pretty nice captain here, he's got a, a decent amount of captain points. He does also have access to quite a few decent talents, those being the, uh, yeah, so the Concealed Reserves, which activates upon achieving 100 main battery hits, and then allows you to get an increased time, well, an increase of 10% time of your consumables, far reach once he gets his first kill, so an 8% increase in his firing range, and finally the Rapid Fire Achievement once he gets the Confederate Award, and his guns reload 15% faster, which is pretty good and especially when you're only halfway through a game and you get that it does become very useful so so far all we have seen is the Omaha has been uh, has been hit a couple of times and yeah already they are looking quite worse for wear because they have taken the brunt of the the entirety of whiskey's team over here that have that have been pushing but at the same time that is what happens when you blindly push into a cap and now he's going to be sitting behind an island until he peeks out so he's not going to be alive for too much longer as you are about to see and where the looks fit so is that Nuremberg as they also just took a nice citadel there bringing Whiskey's damage up to just under 20,000 and yeah that's that was pretty devastating to the Nuremberg and here we are the Omaha has they are in a really bad situation I feel kind of bad for them because Omaha's they are they are primarily just just you see one you citadel and you sink them that's just how it goes with these and that is exactly what just happened there. So that was a Citadel of about 4,000 damage. Gets the first blood, as well as that he manages to get the Far Reach achievement, well, the, the talent. So now he's going to be able to fire even further. Which does bring his attention over to the enemy flank over here. And a lot of them are really, really grouped up. Which is brilliant for Whiskey's team because it means that they can take advantage of this as... If they're all over there clumped there's not going to be much of a contest in getting these caps. Now, over on the B cap, there is the T61, which is now going to be running... Well, yeah, they are running out of the caps, as you can currently see. But apart from that, a lot of the ships that should be coming over to A are just... They're just kind of sitting there, which is really bad for their team, but great for Whiskies, as they are going to be able to get the A cap without any... Well, anything really... Nothing's going to really contest it, and over the, the same thing goes with over on the C cap. Now, there is a Congo that's currently capping, and... Also, Whiskey has just fired over to that Mikoyan, which is the tier 5 premium Russian cruiser. And, yeah, they are not going to like this, as they just got citadeled. And the one thing about that ship, uh, very similar to how the Kirov is, it does not have a heal. So, that was about 10,000 damage, which they are not going to be getting back. So, that Mikoyan is... They are not going to be coming back to this flank anytime soon, leaving the Oklahoma and the Kavor which is currently running into into this, uh, well, towards this cap at least. Now, they are not going to be running into the A cap, that's all I can tell you as it stands. But yeah, ooh, careful there, nearly hits the enemy Fubuki. Well, enemy Fubuki, the friendly Fubuki, um, I was just looking. But yeah, uh, looking at the C side of the map, yeah, it it is a little more contested over there. So there is the Congo, which is currently capping the C cap, the Aoba and the Molotov are also... Well, I'm, ass I'm assuming they are providing some supporting fire, but... That will also change as well because they do not have the support of the rest of their team, which is currently sitting where Whiskey's aiming. And 
Speaking of aiming, he does aim at that enemy Kavor, and as you're about to see, yeah, it takes out a nice 5,000 damage there. Unfortunately, he does get three overpens, which has hindered the amount of possible damage he could have got. That could have very easily been a 10,000, 8 to 10,000 damage salvo. Beam so very, very nice indeed. Now, whilst we're on the topic of Italian battleships, this is the tier 5 Italian battleship, and that's on the tech tree, but it is a lot less powerful than the Giulio uh, Cesare. That is because this ship is arguably the most powerful ship at tier 5. It, you know, the, the uh, Cesare is, it is effectively a tier 6. If you look at the Andrea Doria, and uh, you look at the stats of that and compare it to, to this ship, you will see they are very similar. And that's, it, 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 basically it is a tier 6 ship playing as a tier 5, which allows for some really nasty seal clubbing and... That is why this ship is no longer available for sale, because it is incredibly powerful. I mean, I do wish I had picked one up, but yeah, I didn't. I wish I had at the end of the day. Everyone's got hindsight after uh, afterwards. But yeah, uh, does manage to get four overpens there, by the way, whilst we were talking. I mean, again, if those were four penetrations, that would have been pretty nasty. But once you do start getting those four penetrations, yeah, you, you do get a really nice amount of damage. Now, the West Virginia is playing incredibly weirdly here. They are... They've, they've basically been reversing the entirety of the battle here. I'm not entirely sure why. But yeah, that's that's all they've really been doing this game. It does appear they are trying to back into the uh, the Bravo cap over there, but not having too much luck there. But yeah, the West Virginia has finally realised he's being fired at by the uh, Julio and does return some fire. And that does hurt a little bit. One of those shells does go through, but the rest of them do seem to ricochet, leaving... Whiskey with 37,000 HP, but he does still have four repair parties, so any any extra damage will be will be easy just to repair back anyway. Now we are coming back around the corner over here, and he has just fired off a couple more shots. But yeah, Whiskey does need to get around this corner because now it's getting to the point of they are effectively going to be doing what the enemy team was doing and is still really doing, which is clumping up in one section of the map, not being really effective at all. And that's what you don't want to be doing. If you've got an advantage, you really do need to make the most of it, and that's what Whiskey is doing. He's just dropping off a shot over at that Normandy, who is giving him a broadside. Starts off at 20k, and you're about to see he takes a lot of damage here. Gets him down to 5k, so effectively does 15k, gets the Confederate Award, and now he has activated the Rapid Fire Talent. So now he's going to get a 15% decrease in reload time, which is going to be even better, just to chuck out even more damage. Now at this point... The enemy carry has realised the, yeah, that the uh, this 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 ship is being a problem to this flank, so he's coming over to try and deal with with whiskey here. But I don't think he's going to manage that really, especially uh, yeah, I, I just don't think that's going to happen. As, as already, whiskey is aware of what's going on. He's starting to turn, and at the same time, also manages to deal a really nice amount of damage to that cavor, leaving them with six thousand HP. So the next salvo, even though the cavor is repairing, should finish them off. Now, those two torpedoes don't arm because they don't actually hit their targets quick enough, or at least they, they didn't have enough time to arm, but they are coming in for a second run, and it does look like they are going to be able to get these off. Yep, those two are off, but at the same time, Whiskey does manage to get his second kill and knocks out the enemy of war. Unfortunately, that does, set, well, that does cause a flood, the flood there. However, he does have a repair party and a damage control party on the cooldown. Well, off cooldown, so manages to pop both of those and is completely fine, allowing him to now aim his uh, aim his focus towards that Oklahoma, which isn't going to be keeping that distance up for too long. Because the one thing about Oklahoma is it is it is rather slow. I think it is one of the slowest ships at this tier. Actually, it's it's at like 20 knots or something, which is pretty awful to deal with because it just leaves you most of the map just trying to get somewhere you want to be. I mean, if, if your flank wins, let's say your flank wins, once that happens and the rest of the action's on the other side of the map, you're basically out of the game because you're going to have to spend a lot of time just trying to get over to the other side of the map, which is quite painful. Now, the carry is coming in for another drop. He is currently on fire and the yeah, Furious doesn't manage to get another fire there, so quite unlucky for that drop is he's not going to be able to get any lasting damage. So it's just the current fire that's going on and... Fire damage is quite easy to repair, so that isn't really much of a concern for Whiskey at the moment. But the real concern for this Oklahoma is Whiskey, as he just keeps on chucking these shells at. You can see the reload time really has uh, has reduced there, and plus, because he's also lost a decent amount of health here, 
He also has the Adrenaline Rush skill active, which is reducing his reload time even further. Now the Oklahoma is returning a few shots here, I mean any damage he does take will just reduce his reload time even further until it gets to be a little bit dangerous and at that point you are going to pop your repair party just so you just so you don't die because you don't want to be dying and ooh. Okay, well you don't want to be risking dying at least anyway um, for having too low health so once he does get uh, his repair party off cooldown and gets low enough he will he will pop that. Now yeah, there's 3000, it does get quite low there so it is a good time to now pop that repair party. It's just really effective now, just reloading and it's just a battle of attrition here, and yeah, Whiskey certainly has has an advantage there. He's able to chuck more shells out, and he's faster, and generally he is, it's, it's just, just an advantage in this situation. And whilst we've been talking, he does also manage to get above 100,000 damage, which is already very nice indeed. Now, the Furious is in quite a worrying situation for him, because he's going forward at the moment, which is in the path of Whiskey. And, yeah, you're definitely not going to be wanting to do that, but at the same time, Whiskey has currently got his focus on the West Virginia. As you can see, those shells are currently just about curling in there, but unfortunately, those do ricochet. So, yeah, Furious is coming around now, and, oh, yeah, just coming around that corner. And this is, this is just the situation every player wants to be in, is they've got some loaded shells, they have a carry in front of them. You, you know, that's just, that is just a wonderful opportunity. Now... Over here, I mean, unfortunately, Whiskey does start turning away here. I know it's to try and get his rear rear batteries away, so he does he does get those. But that unfortunately does mean he's now no longer going to be able to get any more shots off. So it's just the fact of okay, try and get around this island as fast as possible. But the one good thing is the Oklahoma is over here, and the Oklahoma is pro well. Okay, I say that instead he does uh, he does change his mind and goes for the West Virginia instead. But the West Virginia is unfortunately turning out here, so. Whether those ricochet, I'm not entirely sure. We will see in a second. Also manages to dodge those torpedoes. And whilst we've been talking, does manage to get some shots around the island because, uh, yeah, manages to get the high caliber as well, which is very good um, because the, the island is quite low in that uh, in that area. So manages to get those shots over and fortunately does take both of those torpedoes. But I think that is the last of, of what the Furious is going to be chucking out as those shells are coming in. Managed to get a Citadel. For 10,000 damage and knocks out their carrier. At this point, it is it is a win. It's just a fact of everyone's just going to be coming in trying to grub as much damage as possible. And, uh, well, that's what we're about to see. Everyone grubbing as much damage as possible. To which you have to think, okay, there's three ships left. Can Whiskey get the Kraken? That is the question here. As, you know, uh, two of the ships are on relatively low HP, which does mean they're going to be quite easy to take, but... When the ships are easy to take, there are going to be quite a few of your friendlies that are also going to be going to be going for them. So this is where the, the competition doesn't just span to the enemies, it also spans to your friendlies, especially when you are in this sort of situation. Now the Aoba is providing, uh, well, yeah, as you can see, he's providing Whiskey with a very nice broadside. Unfortunately, he is slowing down there, so I think those shells are going to miss. But because he has got, okay, does manage to get two over pens there, but because he has got the... Reduce reload speed and his adrenaline rush is really kicking in at this point, probably getting about another, say, 10% buff on his reload speed, which means, yeah, already he's back here again with more AP shells ready to take this kill. Now he's being a bit more hesitant with those shots there because the Oyobo was starting to turn out to his right. Managed to get one shot off, get a couple more shots off, and I, you just, you just hate to see it sometimes, don't you? 59 HP. I mean, six seconds left, so there is still the possibility to take the shot, but 59 HP, I would be really worried at this point that someone else is taking these, uh, while he's going to try and take that kill, but does manage to get those shots off in time before anyone else can. Manage to get a 59 damage Citadel there and gets his fourth kill. Now look at this. An Oklahoma has got 900 HP, and the other ship also has, uh, the West Virginia also has 300. Yeah, this is really close. Now it's just a fact that can Whiskey get the Kraken. 300 HP, shots are already off in the air, they appear to have missed. Yep, there we go, he's loaded, get those shots over the island. You can currently see as well more shots coming in just from our screen, but managed to get the Kraken unleashed, and that is the game with over 150,000 damage. Absolutely brilliant. Now we'll go over and have a look at the end result screen. 155,000 damage, 5 kills with the Kraken, and just an amazing 
amazing end score screen to see. So you can currently see he has got the Confederate Award, the Dreadnought Award, the Kraken Unleashed Award, as well as the First Blood and the High Calibre. Overall, I would say that is definitely a good performance there. So he's managed to get five, well, yeah, to get that 155k, managed to get five Citadels and 97 target hits. So he was just three off getting uh, the Concealed Reserves talent uh, activated there. Manages to shoot down 12 aircraft, two incapacitations, and gets the five killed. Overall, that was an amazing replay to watch. And definitely at the end there, that was a very, very close result there in terms of whether he was going to get that Kraken or not. Now, if we look over on the actual team score here, yep, top place there, 2,200 base XP. That is just incredible there. So definitely should be proud of that result. I would be really happy with getting a game like that. So overall, thank you very much for submitting that replay. I have really enjoyed watching that. So yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. And again, thank you, Whiskey, for submitting that. So yeah, apart from that, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.